Film Sensei here. Today in this video I'm delighted to introduce a guest tutorial instructor, Jorge from Plankia Films, who will demonstrate how to remove and even add a tattoo using Mocha Hit Film. Hello, it's Jorge here from Plankia Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove a tattoo or even add your own tattoos in HitFilm Pro. So first thing first, the very first thing we need to do is to create a new project, import our clip and make it into its sound composite shot. It's always a good idea to play the footage and try to figure out what kind of motion is going on. So it seems the tattoo starts off screen, then goes into the frame and goes off screen again. The camera doesn't move at all. Okay, cool. What we need to do now is to track the area we're going to remove later. To do so, apply the Mocha Head Film effect into the clip. You can use Mocha Pro if you have it, but I'm going to use Mocha Head Film so all of you can follow along. Now click on Launch Mocha UI. Again, we're going to play the footage to try to find the best frame to start our track. It seems right here at frame 44. We're going to draw a shape around the area we're going to track. It's important to leave some space so Mocha can track it easily. We'll modify the shape later. Now we need to crank up the minimum pixels used to somewhere around 90. And because there isn't any severe change in perspective, we won't be tracking perspective at all. Click Track Forwards. As you can see, Mocha is telling us that the shape has gone off screen. No problem. What we're going to do is to create a keyframe, move the shape of screen and set the end of the track. Now we're going to do the same thing, but tracking backwards. Excellent! I'm going to turn the mat on so we can see the shape better. What we're going to do now is to refine the shape to cover the actual tattoo. It's important to turn on the UV key so you can modify the shape without creating new keyframes. I'm going to tighten the corners a bit and it looks great. It's always a good idea to turn on the surface tool to see what the tracker is doing. Now it's time to rename the layer and click the export tracking data button. Be sure to select HitFin Transfer Data, Position, Scale and Rotation from the drop down menu and click Save. Now click on Sport Shape Data and click Save. Going back to HitFin, you can see the track shape right here by the way. It's time to import now the shape composite shot into our main com. Okay, now we need to create a clean plate. For doing that, I'm going to select frame 44 and export it. Be sure to select TIFF and no JPEG as it will provide way better results. Now it's painting time! Open your favorite photo editing app and use the clone stamp tool to generate a clean plate. I'm not by any means good at this, but I'll try my best. Once you've finished, import the still frame back into the main comp. Now import the tracking data comp and copy the point to the main comp. Be sure the timing is accurate using the frame's number as reference. Now parent the clean plate to a tracking point, but as you can see, the whole frame is moving, and we only need the shape to be moving. How can we do that? Well, you'll need to apply the set matte effect into the clean plate and source the track's shape. Be sure to select alpha and not luminance in the matte source property. This is starting to look good, but if I zoom closely, we can see that the edges are a bit rough. If we turn on the mask, you can see it's pretty sharp and we'll need to feather it a bit. Now it looks a bit better. As you can see, the motion blur of the strap doesn't match the motion on the clean plate. That's an easy fix as we just need to enable motion blur on the clean plate layer. Now we have a much more convincing look. You can even add your own tattoos by dragging your text or logo, adjusting the position, scale and rotation, then duplicating the clean plate on top of the layer stack and lowering the opacity so we don't lose texture. To make it more real, use a blur effect alongside the motion blur of the layer. And that's it! This is how you can remove a tattoo and add your own tattoo instead in HitFilm Pro.